This submission presents the estimation of two-dimensional blood flow velocities from videos. Our skin color constantly changes over time as a result of blood flowing through it. This change is too subtle to be visible to us. Using a technique called Eulerian Video Magnification, we are able to make this variation visible. In this example, the heart rate signal is amplified by a factor of 100. We take the face video at the input, low pass filter and down sample it in the spatial domain, and measure the color intensity for each pixel. We analyze the color intensity variation for each pixel after spatial averaging. In this figure, the heartbeat of the person appears as a periodic signal over time. After Fourier transformation of this signal, the pulse shows up as a peak in the frequency domain. By bandpass filtering, we can extract the frequency of interest. We obtain the amplitude map by calculating the magnitude for each position after the Fourier transformation. The intensity of each pixel in the amplitude map represents the strength of color variation in that location of the video. A high intensity implies an abundance of blood vessels. In the same way, we can also calculate the phase map. It is illustrated here at the hue component of HSV color space. Neighboring skin pixels are highly correlated because of the smooth blood flow. The face values in noisy regions, like here or in the background, vary a lot. In this zoomed-in region of the skin, it can be seen that not all pixels vary in exactly the same way. Some pixels change their intensity earlier than others. This means the periodic intensity signal of each pixel is shifted in time compared to the others. This shift corresponds to the blood flow information we are interested in. The shift in horizontal and vertical direction is calculated using the two-dimensional subfilter. The resulting gradient corresponds to the desired two-dimensional velocity field of the blood flow. Head motion in the video introduces halo artifacts around strong edges, while high amplitude values are only contained in the frequency band of the heart rate. Motion artifacts are also contained in the neighboring frequencies. This fact can be exploited to remove most halo artifacts in the amplitude map. By subtracting the amplitude map of the neighbor bands, only the high amplitude due to blood flow remains. Only the locations where the magnitude is higher than a user-specified threshold are considered during the estimation of the blood flow velocity. We can observe that face values of nearby skin pixels vary smoothly while face values in non-skin regions are much more random. By calculating the variance of face values in a small neighborhood around each pixel, we can then identify non-skin pixels. Every location with the variance that exceeds the threshold is labeled as noise and ignored during the blood flow estimation process. Here is an example of the resulting blood flow velocity field of a video. Positions with a low value in the amplitude map or high variance in the face map are labeled as noise and ignored. The remaining areas of interest are shown in saturated red.